white hood over the head and a rope around the neck. The knot of the noose is always placed under the left jaw. When the drop falls, the knot will slip to the front, throwing the head back, pulling the neck forward. Fracture dislocation of the vertebrae. Now, unfortunately, the law as it stands doesn't allow us to execute people anymore, so we've got a previous chap. <laughs> point when the prisoner is strapped, budded and noosed, the prison guards forming the escort will stand on these boards falling onto these ropes. Here they will support the condemned under his elbows, the flat of their hand up. When the drop falls, their hand will fall away and not impede the drop in any way at all. When the executioner sees that all is ready, he immediately crosses to the lever and removes the safety pin. Quick glance round again, make sure no one, is, no one else is on that drop. Anybody else on there going down the pit is going to be seriously hurt. It's 13 foot deep. He's happy, everything's in place and ready. <laughs> Extinct, the death bell is rung. The body is then left to hang for one hour. The execution shed is locked up. At nine o'clock after the hour, the executioners return to the shed to remove the body from the pit by means of rope and pulley. Once the body is removed from the pit, it is disposed into a plain wood coffin. No nice, no frills, no pay, nothing. Rough cut wood. The coffin is left open. The body and the coffin are then placed onto a coffin carrier. And that is then left in the execution shed. The executioner's work is now complete. They can leave the jail.